Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, we're gonna make you a Friday video and there'll be some sawing. But I'm trying to break things up a little bit here and give you some behind the scenes stuff that it takes to run a sawmill business. Um, today's topic, we're gonna, we're gonna get into some stickers. And uh, it is really something that a lot of people take for granted that you see us stacking lumber and grabbing handfuls of these sticks and away we go. Um, but there's a little bit of, I'm not gonna say science behind it, but if you start with a good sticker, you're gonna end up with good lumber in the end. First of all, do not use green lumber. I see a lot of these channels with these band mills and they're cutting their sticks right out of the log that, that, that they're sawing. And you're setting yourself up for failure. If you're gonna saw good lumber, don't ruin it with green wet sticks. Always, and, and we're only air drying these. These are, a lot of these boards are what we call cover boards. They come off the top of the lumber pack. And you can see there's some distortion in it. Uh, this piece of poplar actually had some sort of mold going on here. It's like a pinkish colored mold. Th this board really would not be worth much, but by cutting it into stickers, we've turned this board into, I mean, th these, I wouldn't sell these for a buck a piece, honestly. There's a lot of work involved in them. So again, a species of wood does make a difference. I like to stick with uh, poplar is a good choice and also cherry. It don't seem to react with other woods. Uh, Maple is very finicky uh, when you try to sticker it. it it'll mold it. It gets, it gets sticker stains real easy. Oak sometimes can be a bad choice, but we do have thousands of them, uh, stickers made out of oak. And our inventory of stickers got to be four or 5,000 of them up there right now. And uh, sometimes they'll break. And uh, sometimes the uh, neighbor next door will take handfuls or steal our stickers is what they're doing. So anyhow, let's, let's get started how we do this. And it's, it's real simple. You, you want to start with a really good straight edge. So we're going to go over to the uh, Pyromatic Joiner and um, take you over here. You've seen this on many of videos. I could take it over to my big porter. But this is important, start with a good edge. So. That's all it takes. So now you got something good and straight to go against the rip fence on the table saw. So I'm gonna get a couple boards prepped here. We're gonna go over to the table saw and I'm gonna show you how I rip these into sticks. So uh, I'll get these done and we'll meet you over the table saw. Okay, this is what I've been doing for a long time. I had went to a sale at a cabinet shop that went out of business probably about eight or 10 years ago. And I picked this little Delta feeder up for $50. So what I did is I went ahead and bolted it down to my cast iron table. Um, it has multiple feed speeds on it, and it's just basically uh, four sets of gears in there. And here's the other two gears. This will give you a, a, either real slow or real fast, depending on how you set them. Um, I don't even know if they still make these little Delta feeders. They're really a great little product. Um, I have basically nothing invested in it. And what I had done is made a little plexiglass shield over top of the blade because when you're cutting stickers, sometimes pieces like to fly out and uh, always wear, I, I like to wear safety glasses doing this with side shields because you will see some stuff. Every, every once in a while you see a piece fling out of here. I can't use my saw guard. I can't use a riving knife when I'm doing, when I'm ripping with the um, feeder. So all we're gonna do, in, in this set for three quarter inch, I do not plane the board down to this thickness. That whatever it comes off the saw, in our case, it's roughly inch and an eighth. And that's what we cut all of our four quarter lumber. And people cannot grasp that for some reason. I don't know why. But if you're gonna sell commercial hardwood and you're gonna call it four quarter and you're sawing it one inch, you will not have no buyers. They will not buy it. So let's fire up the dust system here. Turn on the little feeder and we'll make some sticks. I'll try to stay out of your way here. And I 
like to hold it tight to the fence and let it uh, let it do its own job. Once you get to the back of the blade, the feeder will grab it. And I just let the stick fall off the table. If you had a helper, it'd be nice, but. Watching the sawmill saw. It was nice when you get down to the small pieces. It's a lot safer to keep these attached. Take the last little piece down. There we go. Shut the dust system off here. And with the feeder, I mean, it slips sometimes. But most part it does a really good job and when you start feeding these by hand repetitive uh, back and forth with that it, it gets it gets to be tiring <laughs> so uh, that's how I make stickers and I put them in packs of 50 and I band them up with some banding and that keeps them nice and straight and uh, there you go you got to see how stickers are made today and I think the camera's crooked here that's better I was leaning a little bit so, all right, uh, the Friday Eve video for today is going to be cutting a log that was, we call it planked. The log was split either when they harvested, something went wrong, but we're making that low boy decking out of it. So uh, that is our topic of the video today. It's a very short, it's a half log video. So a snack log is one log. This is a half log, but I wanted to bring you in the shop, show you how we do make stickers and um, you know, whatever length you want to make them too. That's something I didn't mention. Um, we cut ours at 42 inches. See, there's there's some punk in this right here. So this board was really worthless. We'll probably uh, we might use this for some pine or something. But uh, yeah, you can make them whatever length you want, whatever works for your operation. We run them 42 inches. Uh, that started back probably 34 years ago and we've kept it the same. So we're not going to change it. So all right. Enjoy the sawing video and Let's go to the mill. We're gonna we're gonna saw you half a log today. This is what they call plank tree. Yeah. They planked it. Yeah. So the tree literally, whether the machinery did it, whatever happened, but uh, that tree got split almost in half. So we're gonna cut some low boy decking out of it and see what we can get out of it. So we don't do this too often. So let's let's get started and see what we let's go. see what it yields. All right. All right. Alrighty. Let's make you a fry video and we are going to try to make something out of nothing so a log that has been planked basically they were a little rough on taking it down I don't even know how this darn thing's gonna load we're gonna find that out right about now We might even consider quarter saw it, but this we need decking. We're finishing up that order on this video, so uh, all right, it's in the cradles. And let me just open it up just a little, a little bit more here. Well, here goes nothing. I'm gonna back up just a little bit more. As long as I can get it flung onto the loader arms. Beautiful. We should be able to. A little 
little bit more so I can see. There we go. I just want to see what we're dealing with here, everybody. And I might bump that tape rod just. Well, no, I got a flat. I got a bell on this thing, so let's just leave it alone. I just want to get a flat spot established. Let's start there. Take a little bit more. Tell you what, I'm rethinking it. Let's bump that taper off the back a little bit. And I'm just 
looking into here, everybody. Tell you what, I'm going to take one more out. Stuff I can edge off of here. Guarantee it. No 
we'll shred this up and the way it goes. That's why I don't like sawing down real low. Alright, we'll catch you here at the end.